Hello everyone, my name is Clifton Barnes Jr. and we're all doing online meetings. Well, I'm here to help you go from this to this. Stay tuned. Now, as you saw, I started out with a green screen. So there's a few things that we can do to help us look more professional online, but it is not required, it just helps us. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually start with downloading the program that we use, which is called OBS Studios. If we open our browser and we click on OBS Studio, it takes us to OBS. Once we click on that, now I'm using Windows. You can use the Mac version if you have Mac, but when you click on Windows, then it starts and asks you where you want to install, where you want to place the program in order to install it. Since we already did that, we can cancel this. What we want to do next is download Virtual Cam. Mm. That's going to allow us to trick Zoom or Skype into thinking that your video is coming from your actual video camera instead of the OBS. So once we click on this, it's gonna tell us that the version that we're about to install is maybe outdated. So we can click on this link and this takes us to the right version. We click on this here and that link is gonna take us to the OBS Virtual Cam 2.0.5 and that's what we want. Once we click on that, it allows you to install. And again, we already have it installed on our program. Now that we've installed OBS Studio and Virtual Camera, I wanted to start from the very beginning. Their screen would look blank like this, but I already had scenes that are installed on this device. I wanted to create a whole new scene so that I can walk you through the step-by-step -step of how to add your camera as well as graphics. So we're gonna start with adding our video capture device. And when we click on this, we have an option to either create a new capture device or if we already had one installed, we can click on this. But since we don't have one, we're gonna create a new one and we can call it whatever we like. Now, I like video capture device, it just lets me know what it is. So once we click okay, then we have a list of devices. Now, your camera might be called this right here. What I'm using is the Blackmagic Web Presenter, and this allows me to display the camera as well as my microphone. So, when I click on this, I come up. Now, you can also change your resolution because I have a custom camera. Because I'm using a camera instead of the webcam, I have a better selection than what they allowed. My resolution can go up to 10, 1280 by 720. That's more high definition. So then I click OK. Now I can move my screen all around. I like to put it right here. Now how do we add our graphics? We can click the plus sign again and we can add an image. Once we go to our image, we already have existing images here, but I want to create another image. So we're gonna call this CANC background. Then we click okay. We're gonna have this dialog come up. We can look for the image file. Once we click browse, I have an image already here. I double click and you see this happens. Now, we, all we have to do is just shrink it from the ends and it comes down. As you can see on this side, you can see what part of the image is displayed and what part is not. So we can click, bring it back up here, shrink it down a little bit more. Maybe it needs a little bit more. Come back. But as you can see, now my picture is is in the way. It is not being displayed. My video capture device is behind my CANC background. I can click and drag and hold this and move this downward and now you see I'm in front. 
that can be to your advantage. You might want to make it in front or not. But now I have this green background here. So how do I get rid of this? In order to do that, I go to my video capture device, right click on it, and you see it says filters right above properties. Once I do that, I wanna add what is called a chroma key. And the chroma key just allows the computer to be able to take out what it does not want to have displayed or what color is not you don't want to display. So when I click on that, I can leave this as chroma key. It's a nice name, we'll leave it at that. We click okay, and as you can see, it has already removed the green because here it wants to know the key color type that it's removing. And it can be blue, magenta, or a custom color. Let's say you don't have a green screen. It can be, you know, anything you want to display. But because mine is not blue and it's green, that's why it works. So now I can close. But we have a problem here. We see on this bottom part, we have some things that are still displayed. How do we remove that? Well, we can hold our Alt key, click on it and hold and drag from the edges. And we can remove that side. And then we go on the left side, still holding the Alt key, we click and drag. Now, just to let you know, what we're doing is cutting off the image. So if I go this way, you see my hands disappearing. Same thing here, same thing here. So our next thing we wanna do, we have our graphic, we have our video. What if we wanted to add, we have our graphic and image, what if we wanted to add video now? What we would do is click on add media source. Now again, I already have some existing, but let's put in a new one. Let's put in splash ending. And let's say we wanna make a big video at the end, a splash ending. So then we click on browse and we have some videos here. Now these are videos that I've already created. So then when I double click on it, all I have is seize the local file location, and I click okay, and it, it plays immediately. Now this one takes up the whole screen. What if you wanna do like, say, a lower third? Let's do the same thing again. We can click and add, click on media source because we're doing a video. So let's just say, lower third and we click okay we go we find the device find the location i have mines in lower third folder so let's say we want to click on this one double click click okay and you see the video comes at the bottom because that's the lower third that's what the video is supposed to do now you see there's certain ones that did not come and they did come as far as um, you know, these aren't on rotation. These particular videos are not on rotation. But let's say you wanted to remove our background image. What we would do is you see these I buttons right here. If I wanted to remove the image, I would just click on the image and it will remove it. If I wanted to bring it back, we'll click on it and bring it back. What is displayed from top to bottom is what is displayed from first to last. So the lower third will be displayed in front of every video because it is at the front. Our background will be displayed in the back because it is, it is the last device, it is the last source on this hierarchy. The scene is at the back, so this image will be all the way at the back and whatever is in front will be displayed forward. Now, let's talk about our virtual camera. We installed it for a reason. So what we want to do is when we click on tools, we see our virtual camera. Now what we want to make sure of when you install it, this will not be checked. We wanna make sure that auto start is checked every time that we come to any, when we open OBS, we wanna make sure that auto start is on because we wanna use this. So then we will start it because it's already started then we will start it. 
Now, what it is called, the target camera is called OBS camera. We want to remember this because when it comes to our Zoom, when it comes to our Skype meeting, Go meeting, it doesn't matter. We want to make sure that OBS camera is selected, not the camera that it would be using, but this OBS camera because this is going to trick Zoom and Skype into thinking that this OBS camera is what is being displayed. So then we exit out. Thank you very much for joining. I hope I was able to answer a few of your questions, but if you have more, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you for joining.